everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing and today I'm gonna be getting I'm gonna get my gear together right now and I'll be heading over to Sea Wolf Park in the morning now I know we haven't had any kind of major cold front so I'm not really expecting to really start hooking up to those big numbers that we see when we see the flounder run but you know we're getting very close to getting our first cold front I just kind of want to see what's going on out there honestly I love fishing for flounder I love catching flounder so a lot of the stuff that we're probably gonna catch is gonna be resi residential kind of flounders that are normally gonna be hanging around throughout the year around Seawood Park and we're gonna probably jump around on both sides the left side and the ferry side so kind of interested to see what today is gonna bring I'm gonna be really fishing with a lot of gope and using the get her done rig if you're not familiar with that rig i will leave a link in the description section of this video below so you can see how how we tie that and and the benefits of using that rig now this week is kind of a busy week for me uh i did just get a lot of new saltwater soul swag i'm gonna be recording a product review video i don't necessarily think it's gonna be hit the youtube channel but stay alert on my other, my other social media platforms. If you're, if you're interested, you will see where that's going to drop. Also this week at Sea Star Base Galveston, we do have the first ever Special Olympic Fishing Tournament in Texas. Really excited about this. This has been like nine months in the making, so keep an eye out. I will drop a video on this channel. Hopefully later on this week, I'll be able to get it edited and everything done and taken care of for you guys. But it should be a lot of fun. A lot of exciting things are happening right now. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Look, 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 look at that one. That one's right there. Look, that's the small yep. one. He's still there. Oh, I don't know. I lost him. <laughs> I lost him. Well, I have harvested the flowers. I lost him, though. Next time a truck... Uh, Dude, uh, I ain't never seen him back here, Isn't that funny? Yeah, no, they'll come all the way up here, so... But they're mostly the small ones. Oh, man, you... Felt like a rock. I'm wishing it's not. I'm hoping it's for the best, though. Yeah. There we go. Little guy. Oh, that's good. Little baby, first little guy of the day. <laughs> he started swimming, man. He started swimming, little guy. He was on top water. You see him? You see him on top? I thought I thought was, I I thought oh, was a big no dude he's on top he's on top he's no he took off yeah. right before i want to go set the hook he took <laughs> off he took off that was the most awkward feeling ever hurt my dang knuckles man Eric, toadfish. There you go. My boy catches it. I don't know what kind of fish this is, honestly. He's barking. About just about where I cast eight times. Oh, that's a nice one. You got him. He might keep. Dang it! You go around. He about seventeen. No, about sixteen maybe. Get him in there. 
Man, you gonna get me all wet. Here we go. Eric trying to make it all cinematic. Hey, <laughs> man. Do it for It's close. No, yeah, 16. He's 16. They gotta be 15. Yes, sir. Can nice little 16 them? inches. <laughs> Land's all wet. There we go. Got him on that. What kind of gope is that? That's a. Uh... You don't remember, Dean. Mm. It's like it's like burnt orange and uh, mm -hmm. and white, right? Can't think of the name of it right now. GoPro, stop recording. Uh, GoPro, new stop. New penny. New penny mullet. Okay, oh dang. Burnt orange sounded better. <laughs> Can't really tell. Oh, don't do it like that, Ruben. Stop. That's a little guy. Don't do it like <laughs> it's a little guy, but I, I I net him like he like a minute. I net him like a minute. <laughs> oh shoot, you got your net now. There's a little guy right there. I think I got a flounder trying to uh, go underneath my foot. Dude, I'm gonna see if I can catch him. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can catch him. There's somebody, it's like wiggling, wiggling, wiggling underneath my foot. Let's see if I can catch him. It'd be hilarious if I could. There he is, I'm on top of him. I just put my weight on him. I might have one. You might have one? Nuh-uh, yeah. it's a rock. There you go, there you go. No, I ain't no rock. I'm going to pull him drag. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I just got my drag loose. Uh-oh. Made a decent little splash right no, there. Yeah, there he goes, this is a good one. Oh. I'm going to sell him out of this joint. He said I'm gone. I ain't never had this hard time. You're looking like a professional, let me tell you. I have a fish that is like that's steady. You got two in there. Yeah, one with let two. Let me see. Let me let me see. Show me the top of the net. Inside the net. Lift it up. Lift it all the way up. There you go. Two for one. Cheaters. <laughs> There goes little guy. Pretty fish. That's a nice guy. Eric with another nice keeper. Just under 16. Eric. Finally got one here. He's gonna probably measure about 16, 17. We'll, uh, I'll take a look at him right here. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He'll keep. Pink goat. Not on purpose. Yeah, so I'm doing my part, you know, catch and release, you know, trying to make sure that the fish stay healthy, keep a healthy fishery. Eric was trying to release him on his stringer. Yeah. Eric was trying to release him on his stringer, but um, you know, sometimes, you know, fish are slippery. Left my went around and left my lippers at home, yeah, and uh, and he got loose. You know, got loose on me. Eric wasn't to keep him, but I just had to catch another one. I just had to catch another one for Eric, like this one right here. I told you. <laughs> oh, you put that pink on. I put pink on it, and it's uh, they're responding to it well. I had a lot of luck with pink last year. Uh, it was hit and miss. The year before, I had a lot of luck with pink.
little chip ahoy. Damn, you splash it. I'm gonna be a big fish. One day, huh? All right, everybody, so that is it. That is a wrap. Eric and I came out. We did a little bit of wade fishing out here at Seawolf Park. Both of us throwing gope. Eric, you caught? I caught two keepers. Two keepers. Mm -hmm. I ended up with one keeper, and that was it. Everybody we talked to maybe had one or two. We saw a guy with three. Talked to another guy on a, some kind of motorized water yeah. canoe yeah, craft canoe or something. with a motor on it. He's the only one that I know that caught four. But, you know, it's a little bit of a grind. You know, we had a cold front, so I thought we'll come out right after the cold front and get on them. A little still early. A little, little early for that. I think most of what we caught were probably resident, residential flounder. But, hey, who knows? Maybe tomorrow might pick up or maybe after this next front that we're getting ready to get. <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Sure.